Good morning, church. Good morning. Truly, it's a blessing to be in the house of prayer this morning. Amen. 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 We are um, going to be coming out of the 78th um, chapter of Psalms, and we're going to start at verse 56. Yes. Verse 56. And then, church, we're going to be going on to um, Psalms. 105. Now, there's a, there's a couple things that we're covering here, amen, and, and, and one thing, a lot of questions that we get, praise God, ask certain things. So these scriptures will reveal to you what God said, yeah. amen, yeah. amen, because see, we are God's people, and because we are God's people, we got to know what God said, because truly, there's a lot of people that don't understand God's word and they get all mixed up and they all the pe people right now are are so in fear right now that there's going to be a nuclear war and there's going to be the end of Armageddon and all this is just going to happen in the in the in the blinking of the eye in a minute all this is going to happen well you know um truly the bible doesn't say that in that way in that context so we as Christians we have to understand God's word amen and not be fearful of those things to come now there is some people that are going through in Ukraine and in Russia they're going through war that that is that speaks in the Bible wars and rumors of wars amen and that's a rumor of war we're not there to see them go through war but however we know that it's war in those parts of this country I mean those parts of the world amen so we have to do what God said, and we have to preach his gospel, because when you preach the gospel, people do not become fearful of what they hear and what they see, praise God, because they already know that it was already foretold in the Bible that these things will come to pass. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning, Sister Teacher. Good morning, Pastor. Hey. Amen. Good to see you this morning, praise God. Amen. Pray for you, amen. So let us begin. Good morning, church. Good morning, Sister Teacher. I'll be reading to you from Psalm 78. Verse 56. Amen. Yet they tempted and provoked the Most High God and uh -huh. kept not his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. Amen. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. Amen. For they provoked him. For to, they provoked him to what? Anger with to their anger high places. With their high places. Amen. And moved him to jealousy with yes. their graven images. Amen. When God heard this, when God heard this, he was wroth. He was very wroth about this. And greatly this. abhorred Israel. Uh huh. And he, God hated Israel for this. So that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, uh -huh. the tent which he placed among men. Amen. And delivered his strength into captivity, and his glory into the enemy's hands. Amen. And and some some religions they say, well, no. See, God changed, and God changed, and God changed. No, God changed his mind at this time. Amen. When he um, made that tent in Shiloh, amen, it was to give the, 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 uh, the people of God, a, to, let, to let them know that God had forgave them. But however, they were very, very, they turned back against God. And even though that God had brought them out, they still turned back against God. And God was upset about this because he said, you know what, what else do I have to do to prove to these people that I am the almighty God? Amen. So God, he was very, very upset with them. Let's, now let's go on to this. Amen. He gave his people over also unto the sword. He gave them and, over to the sword. And was wroth with his, his inheritance. Yes. The fire consumed their young men. Uh -huh. And their maidens were not given to marriage. Amen. Their priests fell by the sword yeah and their widows made no lamentation and their widows made no lamentation amen then the lord awakened as one out of sleep uh-huh and like a mighty man like a mighty shouted, man that shouted by reason of wine amen he smote his enemies he smote the, the enemies parts. and the hinder parts he he took he whooped them he put them to a perpetual reproach and laid them down prone Moreover, uh -huh. he refused the tabernacle of Joseph yes. and chose not the tribe of Ephraim. Now let's stop right there because we have a lot of people that are very, very upset with Pastor Jackson because I'm reading this part of the scriptures. But however, it, what's true is true. Amen. Because Ephraim, in the heat of the battle, 
amen, instead of fighting, amen, to the death, Ephraim turned around and gave his back to the enemy that they conquered God's people, amen. And the tribe of Judah, God chose the tribe of Judah because the tribe of Judah was, was strong and they fought back the conquerors. Let's read. But, but he chose the tribe of Judah. Yes. The Mount Zion, which he loved. The Mount Zion, which he loved. Yes. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces. Amen. The earth, which he hath established yes. forever. Uh-huh. He chose David also. And servant. he chose David, his servant, from the sheepfold. And took him from the sheepfold. Yes, sir. From following the ewes great with young he brought him to feed Jacob, his uh -huh. people. He brought him to Jacob, his people. Amen. Now God has took possession of Jacob. Read. And Israel is his inheritance. Yes. So he fed them according to integrity of his heart. Amen. And guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Amen. Now let's go over to Psalms 100, uh, 105. Amen. Let us read. Amen. Give thanks. Give thanks. Unto the Lord. Yes. Call upon his name. Uh-huh. Make known his deeds among the people. Come on. Sing unto him. Sing, Sing songs. unto the Lord. Yes. Sing songs unto him. Amen. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Uh-huh. Glory ye in his holy name. Amen. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Amen. Seek, seek the, the Lord in his strength. strength. Come on. Seek his face evermore. Evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done. Amen. Let's remember the marvelous works that the Lord has done for us now. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Yes. O ye seed of Abraham. O ye seed of Abraham. Amen. Abraham his servant. Uh-huh. The children of Jacob. The children of Jacob. His chosen. The twelve tribes. Yes. He is the Lord our God. Uh -huh. He is the Lord our God. Amen. His judgments are in all the earth. Amen. And his judgments are in all the earth. That's what the Bible says. And that's one thing about this minister's teacher. Uh, that's one thing about it is God's judgments still stand true from generation to generation to generation. Amen. That's one thing about it is people got to understand we got to give over to the Lord. See, one thing about it is truly there will come a time when the whole church will come together as the bride. Amen. Amen. And when the bride, one thing about the bride is um, all nations, when she comes into the church, amen, all nations of people stand up when the bride comes in. And that's that bride's special day. Amen. But in this sense of the matter, amen, she comes into the, co the congregation, amen, and she takes her, her, uh, her, her place, amen, and that is in the church. Praise God. There's a lot of people that don't understand who the bride is. Amen. And Jesus is the groomsman, the groom. Amen. And we wait upon the groom. Let's read. And the church is the bride. And the church is the bride. Yes. Thank you, sister teacher. Clarification. He hath remembered his covenant forever. He has remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. To a thousand generations. Which covenant he made with Abraham uh -huh. and his oath unto Isaac. He made a covenant with Abraham and he made an oath to Isaac. And confirmed the same unto Jacob yes. for a law. For a law, yes. To Israel for an everlasting covenant. To Israel for an everlasting covenant. Never has changed. God, like I said, God will change his mind, but he will never change his promise or his covenant to his people. God will never do that because God is our God. Amen. That's like saying, telling God that he is telling God, well, God, you know, we, we, we have come this far, God, and, you know, God, and you, I, we know you have brought us this far, but, God, we, we, we you know, we want to praise some, something else. Even though God has brought you this far, amen, you don't praise nothing else. You continue to praise God, continue to have it in your mouth. Amen. Let's read. For an everlasting covenant. For an everlasting covenant. Saying, unto thee will I give thee the land of Canaan. Amen. The, the lot of your inheritance. The lot of your inheritance. Read. When they were but a few men in what? number. Amen. Yea, very few and strangers in it. Uh-huh. When they 
went from one nation to another. When they went from one nation to another. One kingdom to another people. One kingdom to another people. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Now stop right there. He suffered no man to do them wrong. That's why uh, when Pastor Jackson, when I said about um, who was the first people in America, amen. They, oh, no, no, this, this is. No, God's people from kingdom to kingdom, from nation to nation, God's people traveled around the earth, amen, establishing who God was. So, praise God, let's read. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake. Uh-huh. Saying, touch not my Touch anointed, not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. And do my prophets no harm. Moreover, Come on. he called for a fa famine, famine. Upon yes. the land. Upon the land. He broke the whole staff of bread. Yes. He sent a man before them. Come on. Even Joseph. Even Joseph. Who was sold for for a servant. Uh-huh. Joseph was sold for a servant. Whose feet they hurt with fet fetters. Uh-huh. He was laid in iron. Come on. Until the time that his sword came. Amen. They, the beat, it, they beat his feet with fetters and they laid him with iron and chains. Until oh, the thank you, God. His word Came, the uh, word of the Lord tried him. Uh huh. The king sent and loosed him, Amen. the ruler of the people, and let him go free. And let him go free. Joseph, right? Uh huh. Joseph, yes. He, is that from Pharaoh? Amen. No. Amen. Uh, yes, yes. He made him lord of his house. He made him lord of his house. The Amen. Ruler of all his substance. Amen. To bind his princes at his pleasure and to teach his senators wisdom. Amen. Let's stop right there. You go to Africa right now, they have uh, in these great temples, but they have these, this one temple. And you have the king of Africa on one side, and you have Joseph on the other side. Two different men. Amen. The African was one color, and Joseph, even though he was uh, my, my, my uh, tone of skin color, praise God, amen, as a Hebrew, amen, they were two that resembled the same, but they were two different people. Amen. Amen. Let's get that correct. Read. He made him Lord we're of the Israelites. Of, of the tribes. Yes, of the tribes. Amen. He made him Lord of his house and ruler of all his substance. Uh huh. To bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Amen. Israel also, also came, came into Egypt. Came into Egypt. That's and, right. And Jacob. Sojourned in the land of Ham. Amen. Now let's get that right. Because we want to see, because see, Pastor Jackson, I'm I'm not here to play games with nobody. Amen. I'm here to give you the word of God. What is in the Bible? Right here. Right here. There ain't, there's no other pages that I have to put in here. Amen. To change anything. Amen. Israel came to Egypt. Amen. The Bible says that. We are Israel. We are Israelites. We came to the Africans. Amen. And and be, and beyond to known to people, amen, the Africans took us into slavery. Amen. Because we got too strong and we got too big. Amen. For them. Amen. So that they, they sent us off into what is now the Americas. Let's Jacob read. sojourned in the land of Ham. Ja and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, which was Africa. And he increased his people And greatly. the people increased greatly. And made them stronger than and their enemies. Stronger enemy. than their enemies. Turn their hearts to hate. Come on. People, uh huh. To deal subtly with his servants. Amen. He sent Moses. He his servants sent Moses' servants to do what? And Aaron, whom he had chosen. Amen. They showed his signs among them. They showed the signs amongst them. Yes. And wonders in the land of Ham. And wonders in the land of Egypt. Amen. He sent darkness and made it dark. God sent darkness and made it dark. And they rebelled not against his. And word. they rebelled not against his word. Come on. He turned their waters, he into, turned blood, their waters into blood. And slew their fish. And he slew <coughs> everything in that water, including their fish. Yes, Their Lord. land brought forth frogs in abundance. Uh huh. In the chambers of their kings. Uh huh. He spoke, and there, and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in their coasts. Amen. And that's one thing a man told me. He said, You know, um, I know God's army consists of the angels. <laughs> And I told him, I said, yeah, his armies consist of the angels. That is true. I said, but God's army is everything that he made. Everything. He made the locusts. He made the flies. He made the frogs. He made all these things to sin against Egypt. Amen. 
Because God's army is everything that God has made. Amen. Amen. It belongs to him. Amen. He knows the locusts will eat up the, eat up the land. And, and when he sent frogs, he didn't only send little frogs. He sent big frogs. He sent bull frogs. He sent frogs that, that they never seen before. Amen. Because they didn't know that frogs came out the, water, out the land like that. Amen. And that's one thing about it is God is all powerful and almighty. Amen. He has the world in his hand and he controls it all. Don't ever think that God is not listening. Because one thing about God, let me, let me say this, Sister Teacher, I'm sorry for cutting you off there. God can listen to a billion people speaking their own language, their own native tongue, amen, and understand every one of them. Amen. That's our God. That's our God. He understands everything. So you ain't getting nothing past him without God knowing. Let's read. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He gave them hail for rain. Hail for rain. And flaming fire in their land. Part of God's army. Come on. He smote their vines he also. He smote their vines also. And their fig trees. And their fig trees. Oh, good God. And broke the trees of their coat. Amen. Amen. He spoke and the locusts came. He spoke and the locusts came. The, and caterpillars and that and that without number. Uh-huh. Without number. They couldn't even they couldn't even number them all. And did eat up all the herbs in their land and uh -huh. devoured the fruit of their ground. Amen. And one thing about the Egyptians, they 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 pride themselves on their herbs and their and their and the and the fruit of the ground, amen. And and that's one thing about it. Some of y'all drink Egyptian coffee or Arabic coffee right now. Amen. All these things came from Egypt. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's one thing that God he destroyed all of that. Come on. He smote also the firstborn in their land. Yes. The chief of all their strength. Uh huh. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their Amen. tribes. Amen. And God, that's one thing about it is when they came out of the land of Egypt, praise God, over four, uh, I believe it was over four million people came out of the land of Egypt. Amen. And, um, and when they came out, praise God, they came out with gold and and all these things that the Egyptians gave them, amen, because they wanted to um, turn the wrath of God away from the Egyptians. So they thought by blessing the Israelites, amen, that, they would, that God would turn his wrath away from them. But however, God had to do the final act, amen, because that's one thing about God. God don't leave his enemies to come chasing after his children anymore. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. He brought them was, forth with silver and gold. And there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Not one. Egypt was glad when they departed. Egypt was happy and glad. Hey, come on. Time to leave. Time to go. Amen. Let's go. For the fear of them fell upon them. Yeah. He spread a cloud for a covering. He spread a cloud for a covering. Come on. And fire to give light And in the fire night. for light in the night. The people asked and he brought quails. Yeah. And satisfied them with the bread of heaven. And he satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and the waters gushed out. Uh-huh. They ran in the dry places. They ran the in the dry river. places. Yes, come on. For he remembered his holy promise. Amen. And Abraham his servant. Stop right there. Praise God. God, to God be the glory. On high, the most all high, the most all high God. Amen. He remembered his what? Promise. Promise. His holy promise. Amen. God made a holy promise to us. Amen. So that we may not fall or falter. Amen. Because his word is true. Uh, God, when God speaks the word. Amen. This word comes into fruitation. Amen. And that's what happens. Amen. With God's people. Let's read. He brought forth his people with joy. Uh-huh. And his chosen with gladness. Amen. He gave them the lands of the heathen. Yes. And they inherited the labor of the people. Uh-huh. That they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise what? ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. He said, and gave them the lands of the heathen. And they inherited the labor of the, of the people. Amen. That they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Truly God uh, add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Amen? Amen. Amen. There's one thing about the church is that uh, everything is coming back. It's coming back. God is due to come. Amen. The, the Bible speaks about how Jesus is going to come. Amen. And that's one thing about it is 
we got to give God praise. Amen? Amen. Because we know that he wants us to keep his laws and his statutes and commandments. Amen. And that's one thing about it. Some people, uh, that's another thing. Let me tell you this. Some people say, well, you know, there's 300 and 552 laws and, and 718 or 720 commandments that God gave us. How can, how, can we, how can we keep all of that? Amen. Because that's not what God gave us. That's the whole point. Amen. When Jesus came, Jesus took the sacrifice of all that. And all God left was Ten Commandments. Mm. Amen. And that's one thing about it is, church, is this. You follow the commandments of God, the statutes. Amen. We don't eat pork. That's in the Bible. Amen. We don't do certain things. It's in the Bible. Amen. God tells us. Amen. God tells us to watch when we're supposed to watch. Amen. That's this thing. You got to give God praise. Amen. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do that gets you to, to the promised land. Amen. There's one thing that people don't understand. We, you know, we, you always live for the by and by. No, God wants you to live for today. Live for right now. Amen. Prepare. He says, you prepare yourself. You prepare yourself. Amen. So you're in preparation for that day. Amen. While you're in preparation, you start to grow in the Lord. And that's one thing about people. People don't understand when you grow in the Lord, you grow in what God has for you. It's already been ordained before the beginning of the earth that God had this for you. Amen. And that's one thing about it is you have to, from generation to generation to generation, you have to preach who God is. Amen. Because it's true. Amen. It's one thing about people. And I'm, and I'm almost done here. People do not like to hear history if it's not favorable to them. When they hear history and they start talking about the things that happened to certain people in history, amen, people start, I, I don't want to hear that. Let's, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about this and let's not talk about that. Well, yes, we have to talk about it because in order for it to get it out, amen, we got to talk about it. Amen. We got to talk about it because of, of the simple fact is the uh, my my um my grandmother used to always tell me that you you settle if you have a quarrel or argument you settle that that day because if you let it fester it'll fester like a hair in your face amen and it will start to grow and it will start to to become something that will, can turn into an abscess of something amen so you have to pull that out now. So you don't have to go through those problems. Amen. And that's why God tells us, amen, that we give God praise. He sent Jesus to us for a reason, church. Amen. And that was for us to repent and get saved. Amen. So, so that when he does come, amen, we are prepared. We have to be like the 10 virgins. Amen. Uh, not like all 10 of them, but like five of them did not have their lamp. With oil, but the other five did. So we have to be like the other five that had the oil in their lamps and continue to light the fire that God has for us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Will I say unto one? Yes, one. Will I say unto all? all. Watch, Watch and, pray. and pray. Live holy, Live holy. Every, day every day and read your Bibles daily. daily. Now, hug the one next to you and say, I love you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. And truly, we are dismissed, and we see y'all next Sunday. Be blessed.